The PZH-2000, Panzer Hobbits 2000, is a state-of-the-art self-propelled howitzer developed by Krauss Maffe Wegman, KMW, and Rainmetal Land System for the German Army. The origins of the PZH-2000 can be traced back to the SP-70 International Howitzer Project in the late 1960s, a collaboration between West Germany, the United Kingdom, and Italy. While the SP-70 was ultimately cancelled due to funding and technical issues, the valuable insights gained led to the development of advanced artillery systems like the British AS-90 Braveheart, Italian Oteo Malara Palmaria, and the German PZH-2000, which entered production in 1998. With its superior range, rate of fire, and mobility, the PZH-2000 remains one of the most advanced artillery systems in the world. Germany's experience with armored warfare dates back to World War II, during which it refined doctrines combining battle tanks, tank destroyers, and self-propelled guns, SPGs, to devastating effect. The post-war division of Germany led to West Germany developing the Leopard 1 main battle tank in 1965, followed by the Leopard 2 in 1979, which became one of the most potent battle tanks globally. It was only natural for the reunified German army to seek an indigenous self-propelled gun platform to complement its Leopard tanks, resulting in the PZH-2000. At the heart of the PZH-2000 is its 155mm L52 caliber main gun boasting a 25-foot-long barrel designed to fire NATO standard 155mm ammunition. This formidable weapon system offers a maximum range of 30 km with standard HE-FRAG rounds and can reach up to 40 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. The PZH-2000 can deliver a maximum rate of fire of 10 rounds per minute, firing in a full 360-degree arc. Its gun elevation ranges from minus 2.5 to plus 65 degrees, enabling it to engage targets in various terrain and operational conditions. The PZH-2000's Multiple Round Simultaneous Impact MRSI, system allows it to fire up to five rounds at different elevations, ensuring that all rounds hit the target within 1.5 seconds. This capability gives the PZH-2000 a tactical edge, with a battalion of 24 units capable of firing 120 rounds in just 60 seconds, three times the firepower of its predecessors. One of the major innovations of the PZH-2000 is its automatic loading system, which significantly reduces crew fatigue and increases its rate of fire. The system allows a two-man crew to load all 60 rounds in under two minutes, a rate that is four times faster per man compared to earlier systems. The turret also features a phased radar array that measures the muzzle velocity of each round, allowing for precise adjustments in real time. The system's rapid firing capabilities were proven in tests where the PZH-2000 demonstrated a firing rate of 3 rounds in 8.4 seconds and 12 rounds in 59.74 seconds. The high sustained rate of fire gives a single PZH-2000 the ability to deliver the same firepower as three older German howitzers. Despite its size and weight, the PZH-2000 is highly mobile. It is powered by a supercharged MTU-MT881 Ka 500 diesel engine, generating 1,000 horsepower, with a power-to-weight ratio of 13.4 W/T, this enables the vehicle to reach speeds of up to 60 km/h on paved roads and 45 km/h cross-country, making it highly maneuverable on the battlefield. The PZH-2000 can traverse 30-degree slopes, 1.1-meter vertical obstacles, and 3-meter trenches, and can ford water obstacles up to 1.5 meters deep. For protection, the PZH-2000 is equipped with one-inch thick front armor which can withstand 14.5 mm heavy caliber rounds. Its side armor offers protection against small arms fire and shell splinters. Additionally, explosive reactive armor, ERA, can be installed depending on the mission requirements, providing further protection against armor-piercing munitions. The vehicle's shoot-and-scoot capability allows it to quickly relocate after firing, making it a difficult target for enemy counter-battery fire. This mobility is enhanced by the NBC Nuclear, Biological, Chemical Protection System, ensuring the crew's safety in hazardous environments. The PZH-2000 saw its first combat deployment in August 2006, when Dutch Army units used the system to target Taliban positions in Kandahar, Afghanistan. The howitzer has since proven to be a valuable asset in support of coalition forces, showcasing its effectiveness in modern warfare. The PZH-2000 has been adopted by several countries including Germany, 185 units with plans to reduce the fleet. Italy, 70 units. Netherlands, 64 units. Greece, 24 units. Although Sweden evaluated the PZH-2000, it did not move forward with a purchase. 
the system's advanced capabilities have made it one of the most sought-after self-propelled howitzers on the market. The PZH-2000 represents the pinnacle of modern self-propelled artillery design. With its unmatched rate of fire, long-range capabilities, and advanced loading and firing systems, it is a formidable weapon on the battlefield. Its ability to quickly relocate after firing makes it a highly survivable system, while its precise digital fire control system ensures that each round counts. As one of the most advanced cannon systems in the world, the PZH-2000 continues to set the standard for artillery platforms in the 21st century.